It doesn't play music. It doesn't stream music. It doesn't change music. So what does the VU3 Pro do from Duke? And why do you want it? Stick around and I'll tell you. Hi, I'm Bob and you, my friends, are back in the United States of Analog. Welcome to our great nation. Some of you are cracking me up again in the comments. You know, 99.5% of the comments are great. But one guy wrote, out. All right, thank you, I'll notify the media. Another guy wrote, it took you three minutes to get to the point. Okay, but I feel like I went and saw Twisters and didn't see a tornado for 20 minutes. So I guess I could strip all of the entertainment value out of the reviews and just maybe come up with something like greetings, product good, out. I don't know what to do. Maybe your comment can single-handedly drive me out of the industry. <laughs> Put your comments below, but like and subscribe, and I'm, I'm having fun with you, especially today because we're gonna have some fun with the Duke Audio VU3 Dual Analog VU Meter Two-Way Amplifier Speaker Audio Switcher Box DB Panel Display. Here comes the tornado. Now, there have been a lot of great products that have come out in 2024, not the least of which is the Weem Ultra Streamer. And then I got a review down the road. In fact, I've got like eight reviews in the pipeline right now. I've got a brand new giant black ice tube amplifier. Gishelli Labs just sent me this custom built Daisy DAC just for me. But I put this component to the head of the pack because I've been waiting for this. This is in my book, the most anticipated audio component and it doesn't even play music. It is, if I can get the Duke. Audio VU3 Pro. Now, a lot of you may have noticed in the background of many of my videos, the original VU3, can you see it back there? I use that thing every day. It's fantastic because I have two systems in here. I've got Klipsch and Kef speakers. I've got Jolita and Cambridge Audio Evo 150 amplifiers and I can just switch between all of those here in my bar, and it's a fantastic device that I use every day. You know, the VU meters are a nice visual addition, but I really, really enjoy the switching part. So whether you're buying it for a switcher, or you're buying it for the visual excitement of those VU meters, or both, the VU3 Pro is here today for you. And I, I think most people have multiple systems or multiple amplifiers or speakers at this point. Amplifiers or speakers at this point. This device is invaluable. It's bigger, it's better, it's brighter. It's the Duke Audio VU3 Pro. Thank you for joining me in the... I'm not going to end right there. I know many of you want to see the tornado, but it's not coming yet. You've got to wait. You know, I was in a movie with Glenn Powell. Did you know that? Try to figure out which movie that was. So here we go. I've got the United States of Analog Golden Workbook. You can connect two sets of speakers. In my case, the Klipsch Forte and the fabulous DWX from Zoo Audio. You can connect two amplifiers. In my case, upstairs, a pair of mono blocks, the brand new B200s, which I should be reviewing today, but I moved the Duke to the top of the list. These are mono block 200 watt amplifiers. I plug those into one channel, the VU3 and the Techniques SUG700, which I go on and on about, I know. Uh, these meters are fantastic. They're bigger and brighter than the previous VU3. Each meter measures 35 by 60 millimeters. So pretty good size, bigger than most meters on like a Macintosh. It's powered by a five volt micro USB. Duke Audio claims there's a certain amount of, uh, you know, isolation, channel isolation inside. I'm gonna take their word for it. I'm not too concerned about noise in my systems. If you are, again, just leave it out of the chain. The VU3 Pro supports all kinds of amps. I, I, I haven't found an amp that uh, didn't like the VU3. You know what, let's take a little closer look as I describe the features. Let's start on the back for a change. We'll mix it up. Out. You've got two sets of speaker terminals. These are rather nice, semi-heavy duty, and you can connect multiple ways, of course. From what I can see, there's no way to plug in subwoofers and, and control them through here. You're gonna have to do that manually, I believe, at the amplifiers. You know what, I wonder what this mic function here is in the middle. I have a theory, I'll get to it in just a second. And then you've got uh, amplifier inputs two sets. Anyway, be forewarned, if you're going to use the VU3 Pro, you're going to need 
extra speaker cables. On the front, we've got these beautiful meters that you turn this knob and you can change colors. Also with the remote control, you can set it where it changes the colors, you know, it, it cycles through all the different colors. Let's see if I can get the red here. I was able to get red earlier and I thought this was interesting because I have an NADC 350 amplifier that the VU meters light up red when it warms up, but then it goes to the yellow. And I noticed a lot of people in the comments said, hey, I'd like to have the red VU meters, you know, maybe for Halloween or something. But these are, uh, these are uh, nice and uh, you can kind of pick your color or, or cycle through variable colors. You can change the amount of play on the VU meters with these two knobs here. And then here you have selector switches, A, B, amplifiers, one, two speakers, and this mic thing. Yeah, I forgot to test it. Out. But I think it's for people that just want a VU meter and maybe don't want to plug into a bunch of stuff that the mic picks up the sound of the music in the room and transfers it to the VU meters. That's only a guess. That is an educated guess. Nice, nice metal case, so clean. You got this nice big Duke Audio logo on top and the model number. It's well done. I'm telling you, I'm a big fan of the One Little Bear series, and this is going to go upstairs. It's going to make my, it's going to make my reviewing of multiple speakers and amplifiers so much easier. Playing around with it upstairs today, I didn't detect any noise. You're probably not going to be able to do a true A/B comparison using this because it's very important when you're doing a shootout with speakers that the volume level for each set of speakers is exactly the same. Otherwise, you might prefer one or the other and that's usually the one that's loudest. So uh, you can't adjust that here. Oh, I wanted to mention something else. When you turn off the VU3 Pro, it will still pass sound through, but it'll automatically switch over to channel B and speaker two when you turn off the power and, and play through that. Now, some people think these VU meters are too excitable. In other words, they, they kind of, you know, bounce a little too much. Again, you can adjust the play, but I think, you know, that's kind of a ridiculous criticism if you're buying VU meters, because you're buying it for the excitability, you're buying it for the visual stimulation, you're buying it to have something to look at while you listen to the music. So I'm not, I'm not quite clear what that excitable criticism is about. The unit measures at seven inches by 4.65 by 2.68, and it weighs in at just over two pounds. Let's take another look at it. Before I say goodbye, yeah, I'm so glad. I've waited so long. I begged Duke for this. I begged him. And I don't like to beg, but I, I begged Duke for this. It's the Duke Audio VU3 Pro. If you like VU meters, if you need the capability to switch between amps and speakers, this will do it. This is a high, high, high recommend from the United States of Analog. Buy now or cry later as Chad likes to... There they go again. Thanks for joining me in the United States of Analog. The geniuses at YouTube have run all the computer models and they have decided that this is the video that you're gonna watch next. All you have to do is click on it. It's that easy. Your finger, your mouse, your television remote control, or just say, Alexa, next video, please. Nah, it's not gonna work. Out.